Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to review this ember mug. So if you've never seen an ember mug before, it's designed to keep your coffee or tea or whatever you're drinking uh, warm for an extended period of time. It has an internal battery, so when I take it off of the coaster, it has, I believe, roughly five hours worth of heating time on the mug itself. I'm sure that depends on temperature. And then when you put it back on the coaster, there are these two contact points right here that connect to two contact points on the bottom of the mug. So, and it's round, so any position it will charge. You see it lit up red indicating that it is charging. So, I pulled out my iPad here so you guys get a better view of the app itself. But there's an app that accompanies with it on the phone. So, this is how I control the mug. It's connected via Bluetooth. Right now, it's 115 degrees. I've got it set to go up to 134. It's taking a second to turn on the heater because I just turned it on. Now if I swipe up, you've got pre-programmed temperatures. So 134 for black coffee, 140 for black tea. You can do herbal teas. These are like steeping timers for your teas. Um, there's even some recipes you can click on and get recipes. Then also you can go into the settings and you can see the battery level of the mug. Obviously, I've been using it all morning. You can set the brightness, which I believe is the brightness of the LED, is the brightness on the LED on the mug itself right here. You can also personalize the colors. I actually am going to change it to blue because there is no circumstance where it changes to blue on its own. So like red is battery life running down, green is battery life full. You can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I am in the U.S., so I'm going to leave it at Fahrenheit. And then you can have notifications set up so your uh, phone or tablet will notify you when it's reached its desired temperature, when the steeping time is done, whatever you have going on. So I have those on. You can see it changed my ember mug to blue as my desired color. And then it goes over how to use the mug. There are different ones. I'll have a link in the description to all of them. There is this regular Ember mug. There is the Travel mug and the Travel mug uh, 2. So all those have their own specific you know, benefits and drawbacks. I like this one because, again, I can have it sitting at my desk. I can take it on and off as I please, drink my coffee, and then it doesn't matter if... You know, I have a tendency to drink coffee throughout the day, so if my coffee maker shuts off after three hours, shuts the heater off, I can still fill my mug up with coffee, set it and set it on the the coaster here, and whether it's dead or not, I can set it on the coaster, and then it will start to heat up my coffee to my desired temperature anyway. Because I don't like cold coffee. I like it to be a specific temperature. So but this is more um, cost effective and more energy efficient doing it this way as opposed to having my coffee maker on the whole time with you know heating up the coffee and then I can control it. when I do black tea I swipe up click the black tea button I have black tea and you can create your own presets whatever temperatures you like there are some pre-programmed ones um, I can drag the slider here to adjust the temperature wherever I want it then the max temperature is 145 degrees in Fahrenheit. That is the hottest this mug will go. I found that 134 is a comfortable temperature for my black coffee. It's a wonderful product. I would uh, recommend it to anybody. It's been great and I enjoy coffee. So thank you very much. I appreciate everyone watching the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, everybody.